Hey Snackers, this is Kareem Iskander. Hey everyone, Matt Napoli here. Welcome to episode 177 of Snack Minute. Uh, and this time we do have a returning guest, but it's been a while. <laughs> um, <laughs> like he had no gray hair, been a while. Yes, yeah, my beard had black in it. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Ryan Rose is joining us. Um, we're going to talk about some new things going on in learning and certifications. And um, so Ryan, for those uh, who didn't meet you a few years ago when you were on uh, snack minute with us. Uh, please introduce yourself and then we'll jump right into it. Right on. Um, first, thanks for welcoming me back. Uh, it's great to see you both again. Uh, my name is Ryan Rose. I'm the head of skills and certification product management for the learning, uh, learning at Cisco program. So CCNA through CCIE, the DevNet associate, all of those are things that I get to help build and support. Good to have you on Ryan. I know we work closely together and I, uh, Wanted to you to come on the episode and give our community an update of what's happening with us, uh, learning and sort Cisco learning and certifications. Uh, what's the look ahead? Um, what are we, you know, what are we seeing from skills and how are we helping our community of skill and just talk about all of that. So um, if you don't mind, let's just dive into right on. Um, this is a topic that I'm always really excited to cover. And the main reason why is because it's a really exciting time to be involved in networks and in network engineering. There's a lot of major advancements that are happening. Uh, so I would say that the biggest thing that's occurring for skills for our certification program is what's happening in the larger industry and of course at Cisco. So Cisco itself has been focused in three very specific areas. The first has been in AI and AI infrastructure, and I mean, all of the partnerships that we've been announcing, the, obviously the very big partnership that we have with NVIDIA, um, uh, people have seen that, you know, it's been all over the news. Um, those have, that's been a, a major push. Uh, the second has been the work that uh, G2's organization, the head of our chief product officer has been leading in security uh, and the effects that it has uh, in cybersecurity. And then finally, just general advancements that are happening in uh, the network today. Uh, and also demands that are happening in the network. If you want to achieve all this stuff with AI, you know, Chuck Robbins says, we're all plumbers now. Well, if we're gonna make the plumbing as best as we can, uh, you know, it's more than just saying we're Mario Brothers. It's there's a lot of skills that actually go into this. <laughs> so for us on the skills and certification side, we actually spend a lot of time in those three areas. So first with AI and AI infra. Um, for those of you who were at Cisco Live in Amsterdam, you know that we launched our AI infrastructure on Cisco Solutions Essentials course. That's on u.cisco.com. That's for anybody that's learning, that's interested in learning the basics on how to build for AI infra. What's really cool is we've got an entire getting started path that's available. So if you don't know what generative AI is, or you don't know what ML, AI ML is, or even the difference of that, we have an, a really great course on netacad.com that's available at no cost called Introduction to Modern AI. I would recommend anyone in the world take that. You don't even need to be an IT worker. It's just great to be able to build that skill. The Netacad course is something that anybody and everybody should start with, and it's just a no-brainer. Oh, totally. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that there's an opportunity for learning. Um, we've always talked about this on Snack Minute. It's something that the three of us had worked through in DevNet. Learning and education is something that's paramount in the normal timeframes, but we are hitting this really large inflection point of people. And I'm one of those people, definitely, that is sitting there going, I don't fully understand this. I'm really struggling to understand how it applies. Yeah. And I feel like that there are a lot of people like me who are going, I need that education um, and need, you know, quick hits on understanding that because it is a broad landscape when we talk about Gen AI and the tooling involved. And really for us, the really interesting part is around how we can apply the skills into IT operations but also underlying that, how does the infrastructure itself facilitate what happens at the operations level? And that part, I think, is where not just Cisco in general, but learning certification specifically has an opportunity. And I can see you guys pushing that agenda forward even more quickly than I would have even expected um, to hit that exact point of our audience and our customers and our partners going, how do we take advantage of this in the most appropriate way? 
and understand the underlying aspects of it at the same time. No, no, Matt, I couldn't agree with you more. And I, I think that all of us have really been passionate on helping people take those first steps into that larger world, whether it was an automation in the past, APIs, and now with AI. What's been great is, is that, you know, I'm going to highlight some work that Kareem and his team has done. You know, a, a thing that I always tell people is this is kind of like steps into AI, like take that Netacad course and learn what is AI. If you want to learn how to use AI, Kareem built this amazing course that's available on Cisco U right now, and it's called Understanding AI and LLMs for the Network Engineer. So now you want to use AI in your day-to-day -day work. Great, take that course. We have a whole series of tutorials that are going to help you get hands-on. And I know that DevNet's always been passionate about helping people get hands-on. We are passionate about that because we believe that you got to learn the skill from a practical level. It's 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 like if you were going to fly a plane, no one wants a pilot that's like, yeah, I read a lot of books on this. Uh, good luck, everybody. <laughs> um, you want people that have actually built that skill. And then um, after you've gone through that journey, we have that full training path, that AI infra infrastructure essentials path, which you know tens of thousands of people have taken since we launched it at Cisco Live Amsterdam. And coming up next month, we have new releases. We'll have AI infrastructure advanced that's going to be focused on AI security, AI operations, and even how to use AI to troubleshoot the networks that you're building for it. Uh, so from the basics to building, uh, we have a full path there. Now, that's, again, like one of those big areas that Cisco has been focusing on, AI and AI infra. Mm -hmm. The second area, security, we've also been um, very focused on. And I'm sure you all know, Cisco did a pretty small, you know, I guess you might have missed it. It's a whole acquisition around Splunk. Uh, the, uh, the Splunk tools inside of our portfolio bring a brand new set of capabilities to security. And so in Cisco U right now, we have a really cool course. The acronym is ECSS, but it's Enhancing Cisco Security with Data Analytics. So now if you want to use tools, observability tools, Splunk tools, and you want to pair that with ICE, Firewall, XDR, you want to do XDR, SIM and SOAR. Matt, I, I know that back in the day at DevNet, we always just talk about being able to automate DevSecOps. This is a mm -hmm. whole course on how to be able to do that and right now, tracks one and three are free. And so you, track one covers what is Splunk, what is observability tools, how do you use them with security? And track three is being able to use them with the uh, Cisco security cloud application. So like understanding all of the Cisco security cloud and how Splunk and observability tools can enha enhance your capabilities. That's one of the things that I really, I really appreciate about what we do is there's a lot of content and there's a lot of learning out there that talks about kind of the 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 vertical. So so you could go out and get Splunk training. That's great, and you'll understand the ins and outs of Splunk. And you can go out and get XDR training. You'll understand what it is as a product and where does it play and how to automate your security with with XDR. But what we What's what's hard for the learner is, which is actually real world, and it's what you see out there from a use case perspective, is the 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 two together, right? Being able to see things like Splunk plus Cisco, or being able to see how XDR could feed data into Splunk and what can you do with it, right? Um, that is really important, and that's being able to have access to that in one place with labs as well as hands on. That's something that's super, super important and very, very relevant to what people actually see in the real life at work, what day to day, as opposed to just conceptually. I like kind of how the, there's been a natural progression for Cisco in general, um, but I think it's things that the three of us kind of saw happening over the course of the last five years. The, the push for concepts of observability have been going on for a while here at Cisco. Um, we've been trying to temper it towards the infrastructure portion and the, and the network and the security operations because that's where Cisco is really strong. The security portion, um, we use that word, and I've, I've kind of rallied on this a few times on Snack Minute. We use that as a, as a blanket term, but that covers every area of the stack. And there's things that we have to take into consideration that are different at the 
um, at the network level, at the compute level, then we have to worry about it at the application level. But because of things like Splunk, we have this opportunity to holistically consolidate that data into one place from an operations perspective, which is really exciting. But what's nice is how quickly um, I think we've come to that over maybe the last year or so and how you guys have responded on the learning and certification side to say, we need to enable that and, and create that content to help the, our, our learners see how those pieces fit together. Um, you know, I, I, I'm really excited about, you know, I've been excited about the last year or so of how Cisco has been moving. Um, but I'm really excited about these opportunities, um, that we're seeing in security and observability and how it ties to where our core strengths are around the, the network and the infrastructure. I, I couldn't agree more with the both of you. I mean, I feel like we've been talking about this multi-solution deployment approach for a long time, and that requires multidisciplinary skills. Mm -hmm. It's one of the reasons why even on the security side, we released a new desi uh, security design specialist. It's launching in May, and uh, it's to validate and build skills that are tied to thinking about not just network architecture and router switches, wireless, how you're going to deploy that, but how to secure it. Um, less and less it's about your specialty and more and more it's about your horizontal skill set. Mm -hmm. That ability to know uh, enough about a lot of things to be able to connect all those things together. Whether it is understanding the, the, the larger scope of what you can deploy and the capabilities as well as how to secure all of those things. That, that intersection of skills, that's the future. And that's probably a really good lead into this last area, which is as Cisco is enhancing networking technologies, we are, we are looking to how we can support the evolving network engineer, the demands that are happening there. So, you know, we know that there have been advancements in things like Wi-Fi 7. We know that there have been advancements in route and switch. We know that AI is now proliferated across the network. You know, back in 2017, we all talked all the time about automation and the importance of those skills. Those skills could not be more important today. The mission of DevNet, the work that we're doing on Cisco U, all of that is critical because we are starting to see where that network engineer is going. And that network engineer needs to have those, those skills in route and switch, but also in security, mm -hmm. in automation. And they need to know how they can use AI in their everyday work. And so you'll see, especially at Cisco Live, how we're starting to launch new training programs that are all acting as a bridge to that future to help every network engineer, from those who are veteran engineers that have been with our program for the last 30 years to those that are just starting out, to make sure that you have the skills not only to work on a small network deployment, but also be able to support these large enterprise deployments that are leveraging things like heavy amounts of automation, virtualization, security tools like uh, AI defense or HyperShield, and even be ready for that AI infrastructure of the future. So all three of those things, the AI skills, the security skills, and those modern network engineering skills, that's our focus. And you'll see not only new training, but even updates to our certifications that really reflect to where that's going. Yeah, May, May is going to be a busy month for us. And then I believe... Um, this is what you guys covered last week in Spotlight, right? These are the three areas that, that we really, that the tracks kind of align with. So what's nice is we're seeing a consistency, not just from learning and search, but this is this is how we're uh, leveraging our, our product launches and how we're consolidating effort within Cisco appropriately in those spaces. And I think it's a great message. We've become less of this ubiquitous um, IT architecture company, and we're focusing on these areas that really our, our future looking. And that's really the exciting part for me. And that's by design, man. You brought something really, really important. That's by design. There is yeah. a, an overall vision of from top down from our ELT of where we're headed as, an, as Cisco wide globally, right? And then that's trickled down into what does that mean and translates into skills. And then Ryan it, does a really good job at telling us, well, how do we, how do we get go to market with training for these are the the different areas that we need to focus on. And if you'll see all of our work, everything that we release, advocacy, uh, product management, uh, Spotlight is a perfect example. The tracks at, in that event are all aligned with that kind of overall 
a strategy and vision? Yeah, we've all been at Cisco for a long time. And I would say this is probably the clearest direction that I've seen yeah. yep. um, our company take in the 18 years that I've been here. I agree. Um, and, and it's really, I'm pumped about it. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel like, like I said at the start, it's an exciting time to be involved in networking, but it's a really cool time to just be learning. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of great advancements and those, and just like what we said back when we were all starting with DevNet uh, years and years and years ago, you know, this is the time to learn those skills. I would say, yes, again, this is the time to learn those skills, learn those automation skills, learn those AI skills. If you have not yet found out what is generative AI and how it's going to affect you, just know that Cisco is offering so much training at no cost to be able to help you build those skills. And we're pairing that with certifications to validate those skills so you can go get a job. One of the biggest things that I would say is, is that there is always going to be a wave of change that's happening in IT and, of course, in jobs like ours. The thing that we are hoping to do is give you that surfboard so that way you can ride that wave, do more, <laughs> achieve more, and ultimately, you know, get to where you want to go. I'm just glad that we get to be in this business and help people, you know, uh, coast to where they'd like to get to. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, Ryan, uh, no. that's all that I'm going to call him Ryan, the king of metaphors, because <laughs> he's yeah, about really seven is. at a metas today. <laughs> unfortunately, that's all the time we have today. Um, Ryan, thank you so much for kind of giving us some insight and in, um, how, how Cisco's moving forward, how you see things moving forward with learning and certifications and how we're all kind of uh, reacting and being proactive um, in our in our educational experience moving forward. Thank you so much. Great being here. Thanks, Ryan, and thank you, Snackers.